Ooh, this is so overwhelming. I asked ChatGPT, tell me about renewable energy, but it's just giving me this massive unhelpful block of text. Hey, Lucy, you look stressed. What's up? I'm trying to get information for my essay on renewable energy, but I can't seem to get the answers I need from ChatGPT. It's all too general and not really helpful. I totally get it. I had the same issue until I learned how to write better prompts. Want me to share some tips? Yes, please. That would be a lifesaver. See? It's just giving me this broad overview. It doesn't help me focus on the key points I need for my essay. I see the problem. The prompt is too broad, so ChatGPT doesn't know what specific information you're looking for. Try to be more precise. Think about what aspects of renewable energy you want to explore. Are you interested in specific types, benefits, challenges, or maybe its impact on the environment? I'm focusing on how solar energy can reduce carbon emissions compared to fossil fuels. Perfect. So let's include that in your prompt. This is amazing. It even mentions the decrease in CO2 emissions in countries that adopted solar energy extensively. Remember, the more specific you are, the better the response. Include the what, how, and any details you need. Got it. So always specify the exact information I'm seeking. Exactly. Also, if you need the information tailored to a particular region or time frame, include that too. Like asking about solar energy adoption in Europe over the past decade. Yes, that's a great way to get targeted information. Now the answer is all over the place. It's too much to digest. It's tempting to try and get all the answers at once, but overloading the prompt can make the response unfocused. Try breaking down your questions. Focus on one aspect at a time. This way, ChatGPT can provide detailed and organized information. These answers are so much clearer. This is great content for my essay. Think of it like having a conversation. If you ask too many questions at once, it can be overwhelming. So, one question at a time helps both me and ChatGPT stay focused. Exactly. And you can always build on the previous answer with follow-up questions. Oh, like asking for more details or examples after an initial response. Yes, it's a great way to dive deeper into a topic. Hmm, okay, that answer is confusing. It's not really addressing what I need. Let me see. Okay, the prompt is a bit jumbled. A clear structure helps ChatGPT understand exactly what you're asking. Okay, so I should rephrase it more clearly? Start with an action verb, specify the topic, and mention any details you want included. That is way better! It even mentions job creation and air quality improvements in cities. Using action verbs like list, explain or describe guides the AI on how to format the response. And specifying the context, like in urban areas, would make the answer more relevant. Yes, you've got it. Also, if you prefer bullet points or a certain format, you can ask for that too. Really? So I can say, provide a bullet point list, for example? Absolutely. It helps in organizing the information just the way you need it. It's also good to provide instructions on the output you want. If you need a downloadable Word or Google Doc, include that in your instructions. This is better, but the information is so generic, it won't make my essay stand out. If you want more engaging content, ask for it in a specific style or include particular elements. For instance, you can request a persuasive argument, include quotes from experts, or ask for a comparative analysis. This is exactly what I need to make my essay compelling. Don't be afraid to specify the tone or style, be it persuasive, analytical, or narrative. Can I ask for it to be written as if it's an opening statement in a debate? Great idea. Tailoring the response style can make your work more engaging. This adds so much flair to my essay. Rosie, it's not giving me a straight answer. It keeps mentioning that it's uncertain. ChatGPT's knowledge cuts off at a specific date and it can't predict the future or provide real-time data. Instead, ask for current trends, expert opinions or scenarios based on existing data. 
Wow, I didn't know that. I really need to keep that in mind. Always frame your questions to focus on analysis of existing information. And for the latest data or statistics after, say, 2023, I should check recent studies or official reports. Exactly. It's important to cross-verify crucial information with up-to-date and reliable sources. Good point. I can use ChatGPT for foundational knowledge and then build on it with current data. That's a smart approach. Rosie, look, my essay is really coming together. I feel so much more confident about it now. That's fantastic. I knew you could do it once you got the hang of writing effective prompts. I can't thank you enough for these tips. They're game changers. Well, maybe you can treat me to a smoothie later. Deal! So, to recap, what's the first thing to remember when writing prompts? Be clear and specific. Don't leave the AI guessing what I want. Right. And the second? Don't overload the prompt. One question at a time for clarity. Exactly third? Structure the prompt well. Use action verbs and specify the details. Yes, and the fourth? Go beyond the defaults by requesting specific styles or formats to make the content more engaging. Perfect. And lastly, be aware of the model's limitations. Use it for analysis of existing data and double-check important info. And remember it's a helper, not a substitute. Don't expect it to just write everything for you. You've become a prompt pro. All thanks to you. Here's to acing our essays and mastering ChatGPT.